Gents, thanks for joining us. Uh, Gavin Hoyt has left the club today to join Eastleigh. Henry, can you kind of talk us through the thought process behind that decision? Eastleigh came in for him earlier in the week and we knew there had been some interest there. They put an attractive deal on the table for him and Rossi and I sat down and we had conversa- conversations in relation to our succession planning, if you like, in the full-back position. And considering the number of games that Gavin's played for us, he's had some injury troubles and the players that we've got in that position and the players that we've got coming through, as, we, as we've seen most recently, jacket um, at Yeovil at the weekend we just felt that actually it wouldn't be a bad deal for all parties if we allowed them to talk to Eastleigh and they've managed, they've managed to do a deal so we should invest the for the future there. With Gavin kind of closing in on a return and right back being perhaps a bit of a problem spot with injuries I imagine it's quite a tricky decision as well but kind of taking his best interests into account too. I mean there is that humane element but First and foremost, it's the best interest of the club that's most important, and making sure that we're not doing anything we think, we think might be detrimental to the team, which we don't think this would be. Harry Taylor's progressing very, very quickly in relation to his return. We're expecting him to get some minutes in a friendly we've got against Hale Hempstead next Tuesday evening. Jack Taylor's been absolutely outstanding um, with his performance against Yeovil, um, and he'll be looking to build on that, I know. So we feel like that's, we just felt like it, it wasn't a deal that was going to hamstring us in any way. If Gavin, Gavin did leave the club, which is why we, we allow him to have the conversations with Eastley and ultimately he's kind of done a deal. And in terms of injuries, Rossi, what's the latest? Well, James Pearce and Harry Taylor, that we know, have been training uh, today at the grass of Luigi. Um, I must say, from all, all the players and staff, and it's been it's been great to see them out in the grass, especially in their football boots, which is a massive, massive step. Um, and they're progressing nicely. Um, we'll keep you updated in terms of you know, time scales of that. but. They're not really rushed, but they're going to be really positive, positive mood in terms of that. Um, um, one, one sad factor was uh, Ben Thompson. Um, he's had a rupture on his thigh. Um, we'll probably be out for the season. Um, but Tomo will go under, in, under surgery this week. Um, real shame because you know, he's been fantastic around the place. Um, a real, real bubbly person. And um, you know, we were wishing best for that recovery period in that. Um, but apart from that, yeah, Jim, James Pearson and, and Harry back on the grass, which is, which is a massive, massive boost for us. Comes a bit of a kind of unfortunate timing for Tom, I imagine, because he's kind of really carved out his niche in the last few weeks, hasn't he? Yeah, he's done really, really well. He's really got himself in a positive, positive mindset. You know, he's back in the team, working really hard. Um, so it's a real shame for him. Real shame for him. Just think one um, one thing to note as well. I'll take the fans on as well. Um, we're hoping that Jamal is not too far away either. Um, Jamal had an injection on Wednesday which he needed uh, to reduce some swelling. We're going to see how that progresses over the next three three days. And if he's all gone smoothly on that one, on that front, again, he'll be another player that's back on the grass next Monday. So really from that front, you're looking at three players, or three key players for us, all starting to come back into contention and come back to fitness, which is going to ramp up the competition for places in the squad, which will be nothing but good for the group. Excellent. Thank you very much.